Did you guys hear about the the students in California, the private school? That oh yeah. Did you heard about this, Amanda? <laughs> yes. So for you guys that don't, two teens uh, that were kicked out of their elite. Uh, California Catholic school, while falsely accused of wearing blackface, have been jointly awarded more than $1 million after proving it was just a green acne face mask. Uh, the then students at St. Francis High School in Mountain View uh, were just 14 when they took a photo uh, during a sleepover in 2017 of them wearing the treatment in solidarity with the friends suffering from severe acne, uh, their lawsuit said. The treatment, bought by one of the boys' mom, was uh, light green when applied, then turned dark green once dry. The selfie went viral three years uh, uh, later when it was found that Wiley shared during the height of the Black Lives Matter protests. Weird. They were going for everybody back then. Uh, found the 2020 murder of George Floyd. Uh, the students, identified as A.H. and H.H. in the lawsuit, were awarded $500,000 each and will have their $70,000 tuition uh, reimbursed. What well, do that's you think one about way that? to what make money in this that? country. Yeah. <laughs> but don't, I, like, how do you feel about it? I think it's absolutely ridiculous. And this, more than anything, just highlights how we don't have any real problems in the United States of America. If this is what we're targeting our children for, right? We continuously make up these uh, fake stories of racism. I'm sorry, I'm going to call it what it is sure. here. This is something that we've seen um, time and time again, specifically with 2020 and George Floyd. The entirety of the Black Lives Matter movement um, for that year was based on a lie. If you look at how Black Lives Matter is faring right now, uh, what Patrice Coolers was buying million dollar homes and it was basically like a, a, the BLM profiting or, or the BLM leaders profiting off of this movement. So the entire thing was based off of a lie. People's lives were ruined. We are seeing a very uh, anti-white sentiment in this country to the point where now it's okay to say I hate white people mm -hmm. and it's applauded and it's laughed at in society and then you can go and target uh, white students and ruin their lives. There was another similar story of the Sandman, the, well, Sandman, the other kid, the white kid that have the, he, by the way, he was par, he partial Indian and he had a half red, half black uh, painted face mm -hmm. and he just got, is he, is his family suing too? I, I don't know, uh, but he was actually partially Native American yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's a team. Yeah. And yeah. he did. Uh, the, the family of the nine year old kid that was photographed, they sued Deadspin. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's, it's this ridiculous movement that's been continuing to happen. I remember reading about a college student who uh, was basically falsely accused of racism uh, in high school, actually. And then she lost her college uh, scholarship. This happened to her uh, by another black student. She lost her college scholarship. Her entire career or I guess future career was ruined. Mm -hmm. I've seen so many stories of this and it's a, it's a big issue in our society right now. I think so, I think so too. And it's, and it's just jump. jump I'm, I'm, they jump the gun, which they obviously always do, but I'm happy i these are the such good feel like the like the sandman kid he's just sitting there smiling while they're beating the drum they're acting crazy cnn jumped all over it mm -hmm. and they paid the price that kid is filthy risk a uh, rich kyle rittenhouse ridiculously rich think about it kyle rittenhouse because we all saw the footage he was carrying the gun they all jumped him two of the guys that were beating him up they're like pedophiles and yes rapists <laughs> yeah. it's like what he did us a favor good for him bro good for you and one of them did one of them pull out a gun yeah, I he think did. Gun, he shot him in his arm, but allegedly. Yeah, yeah allegedly. And Nick Sadman, uh, he sued for two hundred and seventy-five million dollars. I don't know. They did settle the lawsuit, so I don't know what that is. Hundred mil. Imagine your face was on TV for thirty seconds. It was spread all over the globe, though. After those thirty seconds, and it. then you get a hundred and fifty million dollar payday. Oh, dude, like that kid's face is so recognizable, and that—that's the problem. Now that you put it on there, now if you see that face, that with that kid with that hat. Racist hates blood. Like, his life is ruined. By the way, he's well, not going he anywhere. He deserves that 150 million. He could buy his own island where he never and, has to yeah. see anybody. And, that's and you racist. know, they might win lawsuits and whatever, but these cases are never amended. Like I remember the case uh, in NASCAR for uh, Bubba, Bubba Wallace. Oh, Bubba Wallace. Yeah, and, oh, the and yeah, the news that was the thing to close the door, the garage door. Then you have a uh, juicy smulet. You know? Juicy smulet. <laughs> yeah. The like, I looked up the articles. <laughs> they never, never, ever walked back what happened there. Nobody knows. And he just started losing support slowly. They stopped talking about it and whatever. The same thing with the NASCAR thing. Well, the other NASCAR guy that liked that spicy meme, yeah. uh, he also got reprimanded. Like, this is out of control. Like, you, they don't even need someone to blame anymore. She made a great, she made a great, she, oh, not to cut you off, yeah. she made a great, you made a really, really good point. They're looking for something because nothing really, like, uh, uh, nothing's going that bad. Yeah, we, I mean, we have problems now. Every freaking country has problems. But uh, like, like you said, they're looking for something to divide us and make it, Make it more than it's what what it really is. Exactly, and that's very emotional because it's mm -hmm. like emotional trigger. So they're trying to like ta tackle people's emotions on these things that aren't as big of a problem. And to to your point, 
cool. They got money, but their reputation was like dragged through the mud. So, I mean, at what point is the, fi the financial means that they ended up getting on the back end is great. But what about the years of torment and death threats? I mean, could you imagine when Kyle Rittenhouse and his family oh. actually went through to do that? Oh, and what do you mean? He, for the rest of his life, he's going to have to have security for the it's rest of his life. For, for something that ended up being proven innocent for, but yep. like you said, it's never corrected. And on the last point of those, those kids with the face mask, I mean, like, honey, I have the same face mask. Like, I've done that <laughs> before. Works wonders for the it's skin. It's, like, ridiculous. And by the way, and Kelly, Kelly, you have that photo? Kelly has like, the actual photo. The mom, like, the mom, there it is. The mom, pulled, like, that's the photo of the cream. And by the way, me and Kelly are going to buy that same exact cream, <laughs> and I'm going to do it. Let's see if I get in trouble because I'm trying to do blackface. Well, if you do, then run for president of Canada because it doesn't <laughs> seem to be a problem if you dress in blackface, Justin Trudeau. Or be on a multiple occasions, too. Oh, yeah. Or you can be a TV host. Yeah, why yeah, not? Like or you Jimmy can be Kimmel. Howard Stern. Nobody yeah. ever talks about Howard Stern, and I love him to death. I do. I loved Howard I loved Stern Howard Stern. Uh, he dressed as... Uh, Whoopi Goldberg oh, and did blackface with Ted uh, with and Sherman Helmsley was like Ted Danson and this is like he did multiple uh, he did blackface multiple times use the n word multiple with the times. accent too. I mean he used to use the n word on his show daily yes. and then he went on the View and went no I've never said the n word on my show yeah. he scrubbed it from the internet scrubbed and it. now he's the left's darling he interviewed the Joe Biden ridden Joe Biden yeah. and everybody applauded the interview look yeah. Joe Biden can stay awake for an hour and a half yeah <laughs> good for him yeah he didn't pass out by the way Jimmy Kimmel too how many blackface oh, yeah. he did black body Carl Malone he did Carl Malone oh, and cool. talked like a, like like he was dumb. What do and they have in common? They're all liberals. They're all leftists and they all get away with it. But guess what? They could kiss my ass.